Hi there enthusiasts, welcome to our channel Fast Cabling. So today in this video, we are going to unlock the potential of your network's performance and reliability using a fiber PoE media converter. The key to effortlessly combining the speed and efficiency of fiber optic cables with the power and convenience of power over Ethernet technology. So say goodbye to limitation and embrace a new era of connectivity that ensure not only lightning fast data transfer, but also the ability to power your devices over long distances. And you can also explore a world of innovative solution and cutting edge technology on our website. From seamless fiber optic integration to a transformative networking solution, we've got your tech needs covered. So visit us now and unlock a future where possibilities are limitless. Click, discover, and redefine what's possible. So first, let's check out the PoE technology. So PoE technology is a revolutionary innovation that allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. This integration simplifies the deployment and management of networked devices, such as IP cameras, wireless access points, and VoIP phone, and by eliminating the need for separate power and data cable. NPOE operates by injecting a low voltage direct current a DC into the Ethernet cable, which powers the connected devices while simultaneously facilitating data communication. And the primary advantage of PoE lies in its efficiency, cost effectiveness, and flexibility, making it particularly useful in scenario where traditional power source might be impractical. So behind me, we have our PoE setup. As you can see, the router is already connected to our WebSmart PoE switch. All I need to do is use a single Ethernet cable, plug into the switch, and it is already connected to our bullet camera. And within a minute, you'll see the video feed display on our monitor utilizing the PoE technology. However, it is crucial to be aware of the limitation of the PoE technology. One significant constraint is the maximum distance over which PoE can reliably transmit power and data, typically around 100 meters, that's 328 feet. And beyond this distance, voltage drop occur and potentially leading to power loss and degraded network performance. So that's why we recommend you to use the fiber optic solution. So fiber optics offer plenty of advantages in networking, providing unparalleled data transmission speed, virtually limitless bandwidth, and immunity to electromagnetic interference. The inherent benefits of fiber optic, such as longer transmission distances and enhanced security, make them an ideal choice for high performance network. However, when integrating fiber optics into a PoE system, certain limitations arise. One of the primary challenges is the traditional PoE relies on copper cable to deliver both power and data. But fiber optic cables do not conduct electricity. So alternative power delivery solution must be considered. And overcoming these hurdles often involve the use of specialized equipment, like the media converter. So seamlessly blend the advantages of fiber optics with the power delivery capability of PoE, and ensuring a harmonious integration that optimizes both data transfer and device power needs. So this fiber PoE media converter could deal with distance limitation and power supply problem by working with power supply over fiber optic cable to get much longer distance deployment and transmitting data and power over a single Ethernet cable for IP power devices, especially at location where are out of available AC outlets or unreachable. As you can see, it is already powered up by the power source. And this side, we have two ports. This one here is the SFP port. 
and we'll need the SFP transceiver because this is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. Today we're using this four string pre-made fiber optic cable, so we don't need to worry about the connector. First, let's plug it into the SFP transceiver and then we can slide it into the SFP port. Just like this. And this is the PoE output port. I'm going to use an Ethernet cable to connect with it. Plug it in. And it is already connected to a wireless SS point. You can see the indicated lights is on, so it's already getting power and data. And as you can see, it saves cost and time on wire cabling, which allows you to finish installation with simple plug and play. Also provide PoE to IP device for extra 100 meters, delivering PoE plus 30 watts output power. It is also IP67 waterproof rated, and the working temperature range is from minus 20 degrees up to 60 degrees. It also has a waterproof wrench and a, a gland and a neck. You can just screw it tightly, make sure you use a wrench. And the carrier grade electrical protection to against lightning and other power surge, which is ideal for outdoor deployment. So after we are done connecting to this side, let's go back to our web smart PoE switch. This is a 300 meters fiber optic cable. Coming over here, as you can see, we have an SFP port on our WebSmart PoE switch. So doing the same thing, plug in the SFP transceiver using the full string fiber optic cable to plug it in. We use string B, each one has letter on it. Make sure you don't mess it up and plug it to the switch. So now that we are getting both power and data to the wireless access point at the edge. If your switch does not have a SFP port, make sure you use an indoor media converter. So thank you very much for joining us. If you find our video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And also you can share it with your friends or family who may benefit from it. And I'll see you in the next video.